it was bigger than boxing with him. We don't call him the greatest because of, not only because of how great he was in the ring, but just, you know, how great of a person he was, how much, you know, he, he meant to to us, you know, black people. The greatest of the greatest of all times. The greatest, he is one of the greatest of all times. I just, I just went high for him. Legend. That's a real champ. Put it that way. That's why he's the greatest of all time. And it'll, it'll, it'll never change. The once prominent voice that boxing had in the sphere of social justice is still relevant. But not nearly as influential as it was when Muhammad Ali was active. Has the sweet science lost its edge in the battle for social justice? There may never be another one. But the world needs to be more Ali. My father, I think one of the reasons he's so beloved and why we respect him and look up to him so much is because he wasn't worried about what he was going to lose. He wasn't worried about the consequences. He really had faith in God and knowing that, you know, he was going to stand for what was right. And that was it. Muhammad Ali was a true champion in and out the ring. Um, despite everything that he was going through, um, segregation and everything during those times, he still stood on his grounds. You know, I think about the foolishness of uh, shut up and dribble and this kind of talk. If a Muhammad Ali just shuts up and fights and shuts up and throws jabs, the culture doesn't move forward. And I don't just mean the, the black culture. I mean the world culture. Just the stances that he took in that era and in that time where he could have lost his life. Uh, it really encouraged me when I went through a lot of what I went through, you know, sort of standing up to the system and, you know, just sort of demanding with my actions and my words that I'm gonna be who I wanna be. He was outspoken and you think about, back then black wasn't considered beautiful, black wasn't considered good. But you got this man talking about, I am the greatest, I am beautiful, I'm doing, and then he's backing it up. And he spoke facts too, like he touched your nose, those subjects that people don't like to talk about the struggles of a black man, the struggles of black people. And you know, and those, so you can get shot for that, you know? I don't ever expect anyone to be like my father. And not just because he's amazing and there'll never be another Muhammad Ali, because in general, people are not necessarily built like that. You only get so many special people that are really willing to go that far, but any contribution that you make does something. What I see now more than more than anything in, in the sports world and it, just in general in celebrity, now we have a, a, a culture of celebrity worship and that causes to bring out the worst in people, what I've seen. And people have more of a selfish component about what they want to portray and what they want to get out of it as opposed to what they want to give. There hasn't really been many like him since because athletes generally have to conform. And Muhammad Ali was not about that. He wouldn't let his decisions get in the way of his, even his career. If this affects my boxing, so be it, because my belief is stronger than the sport of boxing. Nowadays, I feel like you'd almost, you wouldn't speak out because I've got a fight and I need, I've got this opportunity coming up and, you know, I'll just keep a low profile, you know? And he was one of those guys that said, no, I don't care. I'm going to say what I believe in. Outside of boxing, the, the, the only one I think would come close would be Colin Kaepernick. You know, he, he stood, stood up for exactly what he believed in exactly like Ali does and whether it, you know, obviously Ali was famous for going to prison and, you know, being to spend up from boxing for two or three years for not, and, and, and Colin Kaepernick risked his whole uh, NFL career for the same, for the same thing. Uh, I think the closest thing we got right now is LeBron James because this dude speaks out. He speaks out against injustice and he, he puts his money where his mouth is. This is bigger than us, man. And I think once they realize that, I think people will eventually, I hope so, will start talking more and, and talking more about what they stand on. I feel like he, he connects all races and he just spans across all age groups and he, he fills the gap. And as a professional athlete, I wanna be able to do the same thing. I wanna bring everybody together, you know, the old, the young, past fighters, you know, just fans, um, everybody together, all races, and just kind of have a house that we can all be under, which is boxing, you know? So if I can do that, I feel like I've given something back to the community as a professional boxer. Don't be a follower, be a leader, you know, be you. You know what I mean? You don't have to copy nobody. If something is required of you that you, you are totally against, 
then I think as a fighter and as people, we should stand and say, Do you know what? This this is um, questioning who I am as a person, so I'm not going to do it. Keep striving. Keep striving, because you never know. You could light the fire that will take the world by storm. I believe there's a lot of Muhammad Ali spirits out there, even more now than ever, because everybody can't be in that position because everybody don't want to be. But those who choose, the small percentage that choose to go against what's wrong and what's right, even if they cost them their job, even if they cost them to get respected for what they should get respected for, that, to me, is greatness.